This is the ultimate mob XP farm. You don't believe me? Well, this farm gets you from level 0 to 30 in just 7 minutes. And also on the same strand, it gets you from level 27 to 30 in just one and a half minutes. And do you want to know the best bit? The entire thing can be made from wood, excluding these four hoppers. I'll also reveal some amazing tips to get the most out of your farm, so stick around for that. So that being said, let's start the build. Okay, so right here in my hotbar, I have got the two material boxes needed to build this farm. In the first shulker box, we got 11 stacks of planks. Now you can swap these out for any solid blocks like cobblestone, but I think wood is extremely easy to get in the early game since one log turns into four planks. So technically you only need to cut down less than four stacks of logs. Now in this next shulker box, we got three stacks and 40 trapdoors. This is approximate 16 stairs of your choice, at least two water buckets, you also need four ladders, four chests, four hoppers, and some torches. Now, to get up and down from the farm, oops, I hope they don't see me. You can either use blocks with ladders on them, or you can use scaffolding. In either case, you need two stacks of each. Whatever you use is up to you. Also, you need to make sure you've got some temporary blocks and some food as well. So, let's break open the shulker boxes and start our build. So I'm going to build this new farm quite far away from the original farm, just so it doesn't interfere with the spawning. So setting down a first shulker box, we can grab a scaffolding or our blocks and ladders, and you want to add 128 to your current Y coordinate. So in my case, that'll be minus 52 plus 128, which is 76. As I said, you could just use scaffolding, climbing up the scaffolding as you go like so, or you can use blocks and ladders, whichever one works for you. And I have received an awful lot of comments about this on my previous video, so I hope this resolves that. So there we go. I'm at Y76 and that's by using exactly two stacks of scaffolding. So now get out your planks. Around your scaffolding, you just want to place a ring of solid blocks, just like so. Now on the end of this ring, place four blocks, and fill this area in. You also want to just make a little L shape like so and place two stairs like that and a torch on this block. Now the torch is here just to prevent mobs from spawning in this area. Since the farm is quite large it will create dark spots here so you don't want mobs spawning while you're AFK. Now place two double chests just by shifting and crouching and placing into that chest. Doing the same for this one. Do the same with the hoppers by crouching placing hoppers on top of all four chests. Also get four slabs and still crouching, place them on top of the hoppers. Now place some solid blocks on the sides of the slabs and also on the back. However, for the front you want to place two temporary blocks above these slabs, two solid blocks up there and place two trap doors just like so. Also add another stair here, I forgot to mention that. So this is what it should be looking like right now. Now using some temporary blocks on the edge of this platform, make yourself a little 2x2 two two hole and add two water buckets in it, just to make an infinite water source. Pick up two water buckets and place one water bucket in this slab right here. Now using temporary blocks, get up onto this area right here and you can break these temporary blocks. Now add one more layer on these blocks right here and break the block diagonal to the water source and same with the trapdoor. You can pick them up out of the chest. Now add one more layer, just like so. And this is what your farm should be looking like right now. And now pillar up exactly 20 blocks. So it's quite useful to just have 20 blocks in your hand. Now the reason we put the water there is just so we can jump down easily and come back down to the bottom. Now this is the height you want to build the rest of your pillars to. So do just that. Just like that we've got a tube all the way down to our killing spot. Take four solid blocks and place them on the corners. And now using slabs, bridge out seven blocks and fill the other side in as well. Do this for the other three sides. Now dig out the eight inner blocks. And yes, I did. Now dig out the eight inner blocks and yes, I did enchant my axe with efficiency just to make it a little bit quicker. And place stairs where those blocks were. Make sure the stairs are facing inwards as well. Now the stairs are here just to help the mobs fall down into the hole. Now inside this chute, place two ladders there and then the opposite side, two ladders there. Just one block beneath the stairs. Now using solid blocks, pillar up two blocks on each of these four blocks and make a perimeter around the entire plus shape. 
and use temporary blocks at the corners just to help you place the solid blocks. Also make sure to remove all the temporary blocks just so they won't affect the farm later. Now in any one of the four plus shapes, make an infinite water source, fill up your buckets and place two water buckets on the ends of each platform. Since the floor here is made out of slabs, placing a water bucket here will just simply waterlock the slab. So what you need to do is aim on one of these solid blocks and place a water bucket. And for the last one I'm just going to block this off and pick out these blocks. All four platforms should be flowing perfectly into the centre. And now using slabs, it's time to make your first actual spawning platform. Place 7 blocks like so, and then loop back around to the other side. Now fill in this platform all with slabs. I also got many comments saying that mobs can't actually spawn on slabs, but they can spawn on slabs. Just make sure that the slabs are in the upper half of the block. And guess what, you gotta repeat these for the other 3 sides. Now get your trapdoors and line the edge of each platform like so. And also make sure to close down the trapdoors so the mobs can actually fall into the water stream. Do this for all four sides. And that should take a perfect stack of trapdoors. Also on each platform we need to prevent spiders from spawning. So from the corner count out one block diagonally, place a trapdoor right there and count two blocks to the side one block down and repeat that until you reach the edge of the platform so you got sort of an L shape like so. Now do the same L shape but in reverse so one block to the side two blocks down and place another trapdoor like so. Repeat that until the entire platform is spawn proof. This is what it should look like. And do that for all four sides again. And the reason you want to stop spiders from spawning is, well, yeah, I'll just put it up on the screen. So you'll bunch together in the corners of your farm and take up the mob cap, which means no mobs can spawn until the spiders die or despawn of their own accord. So it can be a huge problem for making farms, and although this does limit spawning spaces, it will greatly improve your farm's efficiency. So this is what it should look like, and I gotta admit, it is looking pretty sick so far. Now come out to one of these jutting out bits over here and place three blocks like so. Now make a three block high wall around the entire farm. Again on the corners use temporary blocks. So now up here mimic the exact platforms that you made down there but yeah up here. Also add in your trapdoors, both on the sides of the surfaces and also on top. So again, diagonally one. Except this time you don't need to extend the trapdoors onto this outer edge of block since this is just going to be built up into a wall. So don't place trapdoors on these edges right here. Now you've got the trapdoors in. Oops, 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 oops. So now that you got the trapdoors in, build up a two high wall around this entire platform. Oh, did you see that? That was quick. But hang in there guys, we're nearly at the end. What you need to do now is just add a roof to this thing and you can use slabs for this. And finally, once you've got the entire roof in, place torches on the edges, just like so, just to make sure mobs don't spawn. Now, make your way back down. So currently, this is what the inside of the farm looks like. It might look a bit bright, but you know, that's because I've actually got night vision on. Even though you can see some light around the edges, the client light level in all these places is in fact still zero. So mobs can't actually spawn in here. Now, as soon as we get down there, mobs are actually gonna start spawning in here. So we gotta be quick. We're gonna have some solid blocks on your hotbar and jump into that water block right there on the edge. So in three, two, one. So jump down here, crouch and place a block right there and also replace the trapdoor. Now you can also remove this water. Also clear up this little water patch that we got down here since we don't need that anymore. And our mob spawner farm is officially complete. And now wait, 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 before you go, I'll show you how to use it properly to get the maximum efficiency from this farm and also to prevent yourself from getting blown up by those guys back there.
Firstly, just to make sure that the phantoms don't pester you while you're AFK at this farm, just build a little shelter out of some slabs or whatever, and this should prevent phantoms from being able to attack you. And also, I don't have a sword. There we go. The most important thing about using this farm is that you don't hold shift while you're standing on these two blocks. Because as soon as you hold shift for a second, you can see that the creeper hiss sound effect comes up. That means the creepers will blow up if you stand like this for too long. So don't crouch basically. Also you can take a swipe at the mobs with a sword. The one that you hit will be one shot, but the rest will be two shot, just like so. If you want all the mobs to be killed on the first hit, you'll need to enchant your sword with sweeping edge, just like so. Also while we're waiting, I'll show you how to get the maximum amount of XP. Set your render distance to 4 chunks, I found that works best and putting your difficulty on hard will increase the spawn rates as well. As you saw there, all the mobs were one shot. To get more drops, you will need to enchant your sword with looting. Also, the most important thing is that you can't AFK overnight and expect this to be absolutely chock full of mobs. The first reason for this is that each block can only hold 24 mobs before it starts killing some of them to prevent lag. And also, the mob cap determines how many hostile mobs can spawn in an area. So with a darkroom mob spawner farm, once you got, say, 100 or so mobs in here, the game will not spawn any more mobs up in the actual farm, so bear that in mind. The best way I recommend to do this is to have an auto clicker set to around 15 seconds, stand on the edge of this block here, and aim on the edge of that block there. You can AFK for hours on end. This video took an absurd amount of time to prepare, plan and produce. So even just leaving a like would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching this video.